Hi. Good morning. It's uh, Belinda and Lee from Chateau Marais. And here we are on actually a really quite overcast morning and it looks like it's going to rain any minute now, doesn't it? I think it will, yeah. So we are up in the garden because, as Lee reliably informs me, there is quite a lot ready to pick, ready to crop. So I've been given the challenge... Sorry, just a minute. There is a cat rub. It's a cat gone mad. It's okay. Cat, well, cats, yeah. Just run yeah. past our legs. Sorry about that. Um, Lee reliably informs me that there's quite a lot of produce ready there to is. pick. Yeah. And so I've been set the challenge and I've been mulling over it for a couple of days now, but I can't leave it any longer, of what to do with all this produce. So Lee, what have we got ready? So if, I, if I'm if i going to spin the camera around and I'll show you. Oh, okay. And then we can have a look Ooh. and see what we've got. See you in a minute. So here we've got spinach, uh, fennel. Um, I think there's turnips in there, I'm not sure. And then over here, we've got courgettes, uh, filled potatoes, uh, rhubarb. Hold on. Rhubarb. <laughs> rhubarb. Go to the well, rhubarb yeah, so is, I know where to uh, focus the camera. And then we've got uh, radishes here. These are all radishes. And we've got, ah, there's a beetle on there. Get off. Lee, what's over the other side and of the then net? We've got peas here. Okay. Um, these are all tomatoes starting to grow now. Very baby tomatoes. Um, baby, uh, yeah, excuse tiny. me, Lee, how many plants did we plant? We planted 240 tomatoes. What okay. happened is we did the same as what we did last year. We took f four tomatoes, sli sliced them into four bits, and just literally put them in pots and out popped 240 plants. But because we've grown them from seed ourselves, they're, uh, they're taking a long while to sort of mature, whereas some of our neighbours are laughing because they went and bought theirs from the local garden centre and their their tomatoes are up by about um, 300 millimetres, whereas we've got 50 millimetres. So our neighbours, Joan and James, if you're watching this, uh, yes, you can have the last laugh on us. Lee, um, what's that there in front of, in front of the black currants? What's, what are those two plants? These are marrows. Okay. Or courgettes, depends yeah. when you pick them. Okay, so what are we going to pick today? Right, today we're going to be picking mainly Malcolm. spinach, peas, um, I think there's some radishes we can have, some onions and some garlic, and broad beans. Um, now, there's two methods of, uh, well, there's more than two methods of cutting spinach from what I can gather um which is one is you just take the leaves off should we look over and the other one yeah the I'm going one to move round follow one me one is you could just Whoops, cut the leaves the with secateurs or if you bunch the leaves and cut them down to about an inch above the crown uh within eight to ten days they start to grow back again so you get a second crop so that's what i'm going to do today because this is quite mature because belinda's been holding off of what she can Misty's do. Misty's here now. She's uh, she made her way up from the cottage because she knows we're up here. She's doing really well, by the way, everybody. She's really finding her way around, and now she's going to help Lee crop some spinach. She's going to help me cut. Yeah, I'm coming in. So I've got a couple of ideas, Lee, of what to do with this spinach. I'm going to make one hot dish and one salad dish. And actually, I might freeze some. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? So we can have it later in the year. Grab some peas off of here. Lee, um, yeah. how many pea plants did you grow to get this? I don't know. I just, I did what true gardeners do. I took the seed packet and bunged it in oh, to see what happened. OK. Actually, these are the best we've ever had, aren't they? Yeah, last year I tried peas. They were pathetic, they weren't grow. they? Do you remember? Yeah. But that was because, didn't we plant them in little pathetic's pots? Pathetic's a bit harsh, but you know that. They were pathetic. Didn't we pl plant them in little pots to begin with? Yeah, and then transfer and then them, transfer them the and they were rubbish. And they weren't very good. And this time, you've, you've just, what, shoved the seeds straight in the soil? put seeds soil. straight in the ground when the ground was warm. Okay. And uh, look, at, look at the crop. They're really bones. lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Do you know what? I've got the most lovely memories you know of um, shucking peas with my grandmother in look at that. Salisbury. Look. Look at that. Straight out of the ground. Oh, I'm going to eat that They're now. sweet. They're absolutely delicious. I'm going to try it. Don't choke. Mm. Mm. Now, I used to shuck the peas with my granny in her garden, in her bungalow, at her bungalow in Salisbury. That was lovely. Nice memory. Yep. How many have you got? 
Right, this is what I've got so far. I've got a bowl full of peas. That's pretty good. So let's go and have a look at the... We had a um, spoonful the other night, didn't we? We picked a few, the early ones. Yeah. And I said, oh, we'll have them. We had it with a gammon steak, didn't we? And some roast chip, like oven chips. And honestly, we had one teaspoon each. Teaspoon each. each. Peas. So there's a few more there been today. It to have bought them out of the supermarket. I know. Doesn't anyway, well, I'm going to pick the broad, broad beans? beans now. Yep. Okay, we'll go over there. So here we are at the broad beans. I'm just going to pick these out now. We're learning, aren't we? Because again, like Lee, like last year, I don't seem to remember we had many of these. No, they were, we didn't. weren't great. And this year is certainly a lot better. Did you, again, did you plant the seeds straight in the soil? Straight, yeah, straight in the ground. Yeah, the so we've learnt a lesson, haven't we, with that? And silly I've nurturing we do also, in pots. Also, we had a black black fire situation, so I got uh, an empty uh, spray, filled it with soapy water, and sprayed it. And that I looked it up on the internet, and it it's worked. Look at that! Look at that size of oh, that that's bean. A whopper, Lee. Look at that. So here we are with a very few meagre black currants actually i seem to remember last year lee we had an awful lot more i don't know we had loads last year. This year but that which is the big two bushes behind us have got virtually nothing on them at all but these are really really ripe so what i'm going to do i'm going to take these and to be honest what i'll probably do is just freeze them oh and i thought you were going to make some sort of a tart with you know them. there isn't enough uh, not on this bush i don't think so so i'll just take what there is and i'll freeze them in and then I'll probably use them in some sort of dessert, maybe mix them with some other fruit, some raspberries, you know, some summer fruits and make a dessert that way. Yeah. I just, I'm loving this life, honestly, where we're picking our own stuff and we're out in the open a lot. It's a far cry from sitting behind a desk with a laptop in front of you, although I have to do, do that, that sometimes actually. as well, yeah, we do yeah, I know, but this is, this makes a nice contrast for me. I suppose you can just leave your laptop and leap into the garden, get a bit of fresh air, yeah. pick some homegrown produce, which is nice. Lovely. Here we are. I know. This one's my absolute favourite of all time. This one. Beautiful. On the steps. Yeah. That's a nice haul you've got there. There you go. And next we will get some ideas together as to what to do with it all. Cheers everyone. Lee and I have got a mint tea. It's a new, um, new favourite of ours, isn't it Lee? We, we ran out of milk the other day and started to try out some herbal teas and actually we really like them now, so cheers, mint tea, thank you. Uh, yeah, she did hear that right, a mint tea. mint tea. And that's Lee as oh, well. the ignomy. <laughs> um, so we had a great time picking in the garden this morning before it started to rain. Um, so here's the spinach that you saw us picking. And what I've done, I've separated it into older spinach, which I'm going to use in a hot dish today, and the younger spinach leaves, which I'm going to make into a salad. And here we've got the broad beans still in their pods, and the peas still in their pods. And here we've got a few of some very beautiful uh, red onions, and there's a couple of shallots there as well that we've grown in the potager this year. And I've used some of those today in a recipe, which I'll show you a bit later on. But first of all, I'm going to shuck some of the peas and broad beans. Now, I don't know, some of you may never have seen a broad bean pod before, um, but here it is, and this is a broad bean coming out of the pod. Um, you don't get many in a pod, so it takes quite a lot of work. I'm you won't want to watch me do this. Oh no, I'm just going to zoom in on you doing <laughs> All right that. then, I'll do one or two. Uh, yeah, because... And that's quite satisfying. They're quite spongy, actually, when you get to open them up. It's probably an easier way. I'm used to... What are you saying? I've got spongy beans. beans. Well, I'm used to buying these frozen, actually. When, you know, when we were in, um, in Kent and I, was, I had my little food business, I used to use a lot of broad beans, but to be fair, I used to use frozen ones most of the time. Um, this is a bit more labour intensive. So we might see you um, see you in a while. Just to clarify things, I have not got spongy beans. Oh, right. right, well there you go. 
that's how many we how many we've got out of that great pile of beans. So what does that weigh in at? I'm just gonna, well, I'm just going to weigh them because I'm out of interest just to see. There's still some up there, you know. I've not picked all of the beans. How many you get for your entire crop? That's not the entire crop. That's, oh, right, that's about well half of it. Guess guess how much? Um, I'll go half a kilo. No, just over three hundred grams. Oh. So it's not a huge amount, but it's it's plenty for what the purposes of today. Yeah. Because actually, I'm going to use these in a salad today. Okay. Um, and now we better get going on the peas. Should we shuck some peas? I've started. There's a, there's a couple. All um, right. Now, again, for anyone who's never shucked a pea before, it's quite easy. You just take the little stem off, tear it down the seam, and in the middle you've got all the little peas. And these shucks, actually, these aren't, aren't fresh or young enough, but if you pick them when they're very, very young, you can actually, you know, as you can eat mange too, because a mange too is a baby pea pod, really, with the tiny peas inside, but you can also eat the pea shucks if they're very, very young and very, very fresh. So again, we'll see you when we've done. All in the fact, things. what I, I've done while I was doing the gardening the other day, I picked a few off and just ate the whole shuck. They are, the they're pea, lovely, and it's lovely, mm -hmm. really nice, sweet, delicious. So there's the peas, there's the broad beans. You don't get much, do you, to the pound? You don't get many of those the, to the pound. The Mrs. fruits no? of your labour, Lee. There mm. they are, the broad beans and I the know, peas. All that work, honestly. Oh. Well, I say all that work. We had to prepare the ground, drill the drills throw the seeds in, water them, nurture them, stop the cats from getting on them, keep the rabbits away, keep the voles and mice away. And that's what you get. And they get a dish of peas at the end of it. <laughs> um, so I suppose really I ought to say what I'm actually making today. Um, That'd be a good start, Belinda. So spinach is the theme of today because we've got an awful lot of it up on the uh, potager. So I thought what I'd do, I'm going to do... It's a kind of Popeye kind of day, is it? It's a Popeye kind of day. Yes. Popeye, Popeye. Are you, would Popeye? you be olive oil then? Do you know, I'm using olive oil today. That's, that's <laughs> quite, I'll have to stop calling you olive, nice olive. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, so I'm going to do a cold spinach, a raw spinach dish. I'm going to make a salad. Um, I'm going to make a salad with the broad beans and the peas, which I'm going to blanch, and some lovely crispy fried smoky bacon that I've already cooked Oh, off. I like bacon. And uh, I'm going to chop some hard boiled eggs. I've got Lee some of those lovely uh, red red spring. Are they from our garden from the, as well? From the garden. Oh, good. so it's a pop. Actually, even the the eggs are from a uh, neighbour's chickens. They are. So, so everything pretty much is everything home produced is locally here. Pretty much. And then the other dish I'm going to make, I'm going to use the uh, spinach, which was a little bit hard, a little bit tougher, the older leaves, shall we say? And I'm going to make a eggs. Florentine dish with ham, oh, which like is one of Lee's absolute favourite dishes. Absolute favourite that dishes. is. And so um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put the salad together first. Oh, I'm salivating and now. I'm going I'm to I'm juicing in my mouth. Well, I'm going to blanch the um, broad beans and the peas, and that'll take a couple of minutes, and we'll, we'll come back to you after that. While the water's boiling to blanch the broad beans and the peas, I'm going to start on the hot dish. I'm going to make the eggs Florentine with ham. So it's really dead simple and it's a great lunch or supper dish for two people. Lunch so, oh, for one. For one, lunch for one person, um, one hungry person. So honestly, um, I've got a gratin dish there, really simple and just Going to lay four slices of ham, says she nervously as it breaks, into the bottom of the dish. This is really nice, this dish. I really like it. I've been making this for years, but oh, you no. know, I only ever started making this in France. I don't know why. I don't think I've ever made this in England. It's become a sort of French classic of ours, hasn't it, this one? There we are, that's yeah. the ham in. Um, and this is the spinach, which I'm going to pour boiling water over um, and let it wilt literally in the boiling water, drain it very well and then, then I'm going to layer it on top of the ham but I'll do that off camera. So here we have it, here we have the spinach that I poured the boiling water over and um, and then chopped it roughly with a pair, just a pair of scissors and then actually I used a potato masher in the colander to try and get out as much water as possible. Um, and then that literally is going to go on top of the ham, but I'm not going to use my fingers, so I'm going to get something to do that with. So I'm going to pop the 
spinach on top of the ham, just spread it out evenly. Garlic skin there. You must be absolutely starving, Lee, because you haven't had lunch I'm, yet. I'm smelling this, well yeah, I'm watching it all being prepared. You, so it won't be long. Now, I'm going to put um, four eggs in here. So you need to make a little bit of space, really, for the eggs to go. Can I see that, what you're doing? Yeah, just going to make a little... No, hold it up. Like that. Like that, yeah, now to yeah, okay, good, okay, yeah, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but I can hear those vegetables over there which need to come off the gas. So I'm just going to pop over there, I'm really multitasking today. So, here's the beans and the peas, those have been blanched for a minute or so in boiling slightly salted water, and I'm leaving them in cold water now so they don't cook anymore because you just want them al dente, you don't want them mushy because obviously this is a salad. So going back to the um, uh, spinach ham dish, the Florentine dish, there's the spinach and I'm just going to get four fresh eggs and crack those in to the dish. Are you a person that likes runny yolks or solid yolks? I'm a person that likes extremely solid yolks. I like a person runny that yolks. likes runny yolks. So, to be honest, we, we, this is quite a challenge for us, this dish. And what I normally do is I cook it to the point where Lee likes to eat it. And then I put it back in again for a bit longer for me. Um, so I'm going to leave that for a second, Lee, because I haven't turned the grill on yet. So I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to go and turn on the grill. I'll see if I can get a close up shot of that. Um, which is there. So I've popped the grill on now. So I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. Need good seasoning on this. Can you see it okay? Mm -hmm. I'm a lot happier when that's in the oven cooking. I'm starving. You know, you could put some, you could put some chilies in this. I mean, Lee loves chilies. I do you? like chilli, yeah. You could actually, if you wanted to. So I'm just going off to get myself. And then you just drizzle four tablespoons of single cream on top of this, or you could use creme fraiche. Looks nice, doesn't it? Even raw. It does, yeah. Especially when you're starving hungry. Yeah. Sweet. Is that what it's called in French? Creme fluide. It is creme fluide, liquid cream. Literally. Yeah, but is that is that like single cream or yes, double cream? Yes, creme, it's creme légère, which means light. So yeah, yeah single. Okay, I'm just going to um, actually focus in on that so we can. I've not quite see. finished it yet. I'm going to add some grated cheese. Corny. You won't oh. be surprised to hear. Sounds very American. <laughs> no. And then this just goes under a grill, a medium grill, for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes or so until it's cooked. So off I go. So these are the smaller spinach leaves um, that I've washed very carefully. I'm just going to dry them in a salad spinner. Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with these. But these days, you know, we buy so many salads in bags that it's quite rare to actually, well it is for me still, to wash and dry a salad. But this is a very efficient way of doing it. Yeah, it's good to build your arm muscles up as well. Shall I have another go? Yeah, go on. This is like the head of the Second World War, didn't they? Something they used to wind up like that? Yeah, was sirens, the, um, air raid sirens, sirens. that's yeah. right, yes, there we are. I was paying attention. Um, and there you go, and it's all lovely now, it's all dried out. There's the water that came out of it, and you don't want that in your salad, do you? No. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this salad on this lovely glass platter today. So I'm just going to lay out these spinach leaves. It's quite a big salad, Lee. 
It is, I'm not going to eat all of that. You know what, I would hold off dressing it if I were you. I'm not going to. I'm not, because it's such a waste. You could have that as a starter this yeah. evening. So what I'm going to do is just make it up and make it look beautiful. So we've got the spinach leaves. We've got some of these red onions. These are the red spring onions from the garden. So would have started have been life. They've diced or chopped or? A bit like that, just finely sliced. That's a, a massive version again. Mm. One of Lee's super-sized vegetables. Oh, absolutely. Uh, We've grown big here at yes, Chateau Marais. Yes, yes. And... Uh, <laughs> she said dismissively. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, not all of these peas and beans, because I think um, that would be over beaning it, so to speak. But I've drained these now. They were they were chilling in some cool water. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of those on. I mean, I'm going to use bacon and egg on this today. You could use a whole variety of things um, on this salad. You could use some grated, again, some grated cheese if you like that. Um, do you know some nice... Um, Spicy sausage, you know, harito sausage, uh, uh, sort of chopped oh, up and fried. Fried, that yeah, fried in um, in a chilli sauce. That yeah, would be lovely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but today I'm going to be That's using... another favourite of mine, yeah. actually. That's probably enough of that. And then we've got this bacon and these boiled eggs. I'm just going to chop the boiled egg and pop that on top as well. You just quartering those, are you? No, I was going to chop it. What do you, oh, okay. How would you rather have it? Oh, yeah, I don't mind. You, you do it what you... But if you chop it, you get um, a little bit in every bite, don't you, then? Sounds like a, a well-known UK advert it for does. a supermarket chain. And I think I'll use both of them because we've got plenty of eggs around here. Yep. Never, never a shortage never of eggs. Never a shortage of eggs. <laughs> Or tomatoes. tomatoes. Well, later on. <laughs> Everyone in season's got hundreds of tomatoes and loads of courgettes and eggs. Look at that. It's lovely, doesn't it? Right, let me have a look. I'm going to just take the camera over and have a look, so don't move it. Maybe you can just hold it at an angle so we can actually look right into it. And do you know what else would be nice on there, actually? Uh, would be some mint. Some chopped oh, mint. Could you hold it at a bit of an angle? <laughs> so you can see what's in there. That's lovely. And then the dressing I have made today, um, I've made it with uh, nut vinegar. I'm just going to get the bottle and show actually. Nut is, vinegar? Yeah, it's an absolute favourite of mine uh, here in France, nut vinegar. So I've made it with um, two tablespoons of the nut vinegar, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard and one tablespoon of olive oil and half a teaspoon of sugar. Um, and I'm actually going to put this in this little dish, look, on the side, like that. And then all it needs is a little spoon and you can just serve your dressing on your salad as you like. How about that? Nice job. Thank you. Let's eat, Blinda, I'm starving. I'm going to go and take a look at the... Um, While we're waiting for the eggs to finish cooking, I just want to show you something I made earlier. Ha ha ha. Um, so I spoke about using up some onions. I actually used loads of these red onions, Lee, and I made um, a quiche with um, some caramelised red onions. So I fried them off with some, gently with some bacon, sorry, not bacon, olive oil, butter, thyme, rosemary and garlic, and um, put them in a, in a, a blind baked pastry case. And then um, I made a custard with eggs, double cream, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Can you see? And then I used blue cheese and walnuts as the filling. It looks lovely. It smells amazing. So that's something. I'll probably put that in the freezer, to be honest. Um, and then those are the, the black currants that we picked earlier. Mm -hmm. Not many of them are there, but I'm going to freeze those. And this is a really good way to freeze soft fruit, by the way. So freeze it flat. And then when it's frozen, you can actually then pop them into a bag. But if you if you put them into a bag and freeze them like that, you'll you'll get a sort of solidified mass, which you can't do very much with. So I'm just going to pop those in the freezer. Just checked it and it's done as far as I can see. So I'm just going to take it out from under the grill, but it'd be very, very hot because um hot. 
careful because this is extremely hot. I'm also cooking a batch of strawberry jam at the same time. So you're ambidextrous then? Yeah, there you go. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Let's have a look at that then. Oh yeah, that looks good. Really nice. Mm. So when do we get to eat now. it now? We're going to get to eat it now. So there we are. So uh, starting off this morning in the potager, seeing what there was and picking the spinach, picking the broad beans and the peas, uh, the red onions we already had. Yeah, and I've made this um, spinach, broad bean, pea, bacon and egg salad with a nut vinegar dressing and uh, eggs florentine with ham. So would you like to try some? I'm starving. I'm, I'm gagging for it. Oh, Come on, right, get okay. some in. Give us your plate. So I'll give you a bit of this. Yeah. Make sure you've got a bit of everything. Yeah, go on in. Looks really good, Belinda. There we go. That's it, great. Can I have some of that sauce as well? Yeah. It's a dressing. Just Sorry, sauce. dressing. It's South London in me coming out. Sorry. There we are. Dressing. Dressing. Lovely. I'm a little bit as well, actually. Go on, start. Yeah. Okay. You start because you're starving. Oh, I'm hungry, yeah. Right. What do you think? Hmm. That's delicious, that. Nut vinegar. It's good, isn't it? It's really good. I've never had that before. Mm. I think you have, but you may not have known it. No, but you can really taste it. It's yeah. nutty, isn't it? Mm. It's really nice. Mm. Oh, this is good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Belinda. And then when we've had that, um, we'll try the other one. Good idea. Mm. Let's get. So that was very nice. Look, all gone. Can you not use Loved the same it. dish? Yeah, I will. So seriously, yeah. while we were eating that, it was really, really nice. Um, that pot of strawberry jam I had on the top has completely boiled over. Um, there we are. That's another job for us. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's a, an arg of cleaning job. A lesson on to do on doing one thing at a time, isn't I've it? I've got really? a feeling I know something's coming my way. <laughs> I better get busy with a cloth. I think this needs um I think this needs scissors or something. No, I don't. Just do it. it needs a knife and fork. Oh. To serve it properly, look. Oh yeah, it's the ham here. <laughs> ham, eggs and spinach, oh yeah. The joy. Give me a plate. Well, it looks absolutely fantastic. I love this dish. I know what this tastes like. And I you've still it. got an egg yolk in, in tapped there, which yeah. is pretty miraculous. Wonderful. I'm going to try the other end, which I think looks a bit better cooked. You start, Lee. No, no, go on, I'll wait for you. <laughs> it's a really, really looking good. Whoop. Look at that. Bon appetit, oh. everyone. Don't sit me in the pinion. I don't know. It's a, it's a habit, I think. <laughs> anyway, listen. Mm. This is, I'm sure, it's delicious. I know what it tastes like. I've had mm. this loads of time. Absolutely lovely. Mm. So, um, mm. before we finish this off, just to say thank you very much for continuing to watch us. We do, we, we do try and keep producing these little films. Um, we don't do as many as we'd like to do, um, but as I always say, life gets in the way of vlogging. Um, <laughs> but we do enjoy making them, and we're so glad you enjoy watching them as well. So thank you for your support, and we will see you again at Chateau Mahai, and in the kitchen maybe, very soon. Bye. Bye for now. This is absolutely lovely, I love it. Oh, thank mm. you.